Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm going to do something completely different today. I've been inspired by two cooks recently, one being a girl called Jack, as you know from my last video, and another one who is a fellow YouTuber called Barry Lewis and his channel is My Virgin Kitchen. And I really have been inspired by just his very early videos where um, he just he just cooks a recipe he's never done it before and it's in a vlogging style and I'm actually in my camper van in London at the minute and my view is fantastic it's the river it's a river Thames so just there and my dog is tied up at the table and uh, I'm going to do a, uh, a recipe that I've never done before and it's Jack Monroe's a girl called Jack's 9p burger it's a vegan I'm going to try and do it sin free if I can and um, that's whether it holds together oh actually it isn't um, sin free because there's flour so if you don't want to use flour try and use an egg or some smash instant uh, mashed potatoes but I don't have any of those with me so uh, I will be using that so in a minute I'll lay out I'll show you what I'm going to use I've just got to get it all prepared so it's all very rough stages at the minute and please please go well I'm crossing my fingers otherwise I'll admit it's going to be a fail but I don't have all the ingredients so I'm adapting it right see you in a bit oh and I totally forgot to tell you it's piddling it down it's been like this all day so I've got to act fast and uh, I wanted to go for a run and do some yoga this morning but fat chance so the first thing I've got is a tin of kidney beans I've rinsed them and I've put them in a big saucepan I'm gonna put the lid on in a minute and uh, it's got cold water in it so we need to simmer that for 10 minutes and that's gonna give me some time to grate the um, sweet potato and chop up some spring onions or an onion if you're using but don't worry I'll put the recipe in my blog below so now I've got a giant, <laughs> giant, I've now I've got a large frying pan and instead of oil, I'm gonna use a fry light because we're just gonna saute some veg at the minute. So in my saucepan, I'm going to use a teaspoon of turmeric and a teaspoon of ground coriander because I don't have anything fresh in my camper. And I'm gonna measure out, slightly this is very risky, um, half of this tablespoon roughly. Oops. I'll just take some of that and put it back. Oh, let's just go like that. Oh dear. If I lose some, I lose some. Oh, that'll do. I don't want to create too much washing up while I'm camping. So let's do another pretend teaspoon of coriander. Now, I've noticed on her actual blog rather than the recipe book, she says to use a smallish onion. Now, I don't have the fresh um, herbs, so I'm going to use my leftover um, spring onions and slice them and finely chop them. So I have five here. I think I'm going to be in for a challenge here. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Just use some scissors if you prefer. So in theory this should give a much stronger taste than um, a regular onion. So if that's what you want, just give it a go and please let me know what you think about it. I just hope I don't have to put fail in the title of the video because I'm going to be uploading it whatever. I'm tearing it, it's just quicker. This is tedious. The power's going down, two more to go. Hands, what you doing? What you doing? What you seen? Oh, gorgeous. So the pan's bubbling. Let's just turn that right down. So Jack uses a carrot and I'm going to use a sweet potato and it's been washed and I'm just going to grate it. I'm not going to peel it and she doesn't peel her uh, carrots either. Carrot. Carrot. And annoyingly, I forgot my grater. So I had to go to the charity shop and buy one for a pound, which I've washed by the way. Ooh. She doesn't say coarse. I feel like going for the finer one. Let's just mix it up a little bit first. Let's see what it's like. I think the finer one would make sense. But it would take so much longer to, to grate. All done. I don't know why I'm getting that really weird killy thing in my hair now. Plonk it on the hob 
and we need to make sure that's on low so let's stick that on two and I'm about to get a okay that's what I need oh and you'll need a masher as well <clears throat> but I'll save that for later hands away come on so we need to saute that until it's all softened don't burn your little nose that smells delicious already with the turmeric and we need some seasoning. We've got to go and get some seasoning. Hopefully I've got seasoning. Yes! Take that, burgers! So I'm going to leave that for a bit and I'm going to slice one of my bread buns. I'd say the sweet potato and the onions are done now. So we're going to drain the um, kidney beans and then put them all together and we need to start mashing it. So this is where you need to get your plastic masher if you're using a non-stick pan. And if you if someone you just don't like, just give it a bash. Well, I have to say, it's smelling rather good. And um, I love how colourful this is. I've actually taken a photo uh, for Instagram and uh, my blog. I love the colours. And I, I do love veggie burgers. I used to be vegetarian for years. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. But I have to say, I don't want to chance it with fry light frying this because it does look delicate. I think um, hot oil is just going to um, just firm it up straight away. Um, so we're, we're now going to add a heaped teaspoon of flour. So let's say that is a teaspoon. It's probably a little bit more, but it's not exactly baking. We need to stir that in. So it has gone quite clumpy now and thick, which is what we needed. Um, but if you did want to experiment with an egg or um, or some smash instead, please let me know how you get on. Uh, I probably would have gone with those instead of the flour uh, if I didn't want any sins um, for the day. So get the frying pan again that you used earlier. So we're going to put that on the hob and I'm going to put that on just do medium heat at the minute. I think it should be on quite high. And I'm going to grab a little bit of the olive oil. This one's extra virgin olive oil. It's just what I've got in. And uh, and let's say maybe a teaspoon. I really don't know how. I really don't know how many sins are in a teaspoon. So now you need to start rolling the um, the bean burger mixture into balls. Don't be rude. And uh, you need to make sure you've got floured hands. So I'm just going to grab a pinch. And it's, uh, it's okay to touch, so I'm pleased about that. Get some more flour if you need it. It's going all over my coat. We have an issue. We do need to flatten these in a minute. I really don't want the mixture to stick to the spatula. That's the risk I'm worried about. So I'm gonna press that down. See, no stickiness. And we're meant to fry these for a few minutes on each side. Check out the flower explosion. Right, I've just had a phone call, so I had to leave these for a little bit, but I can smell a slight burning smell, so I'm hoping they're gonna be fine, but they're still soft, which is what I'm worried about. So, oh. Come on. Would probably definitely help if you put these in the fridge for a couple of hours to firm up. But they're not too bad. So I've been stupid again and I've totally forgotten sauces so I managed to find a McDonald's barbecue sauce dip. So that's what it looks like. But we'll taste test it in a minute. It'll do. It will do. I'm blooming hungry. But I can taste an intense amount of turmeric and I know it would be the exact same with cumin but that combination of a red bun salad and a sauce with it I don't really care if it's meat or not as long as I'm not eating the burger on its own I think I'll be fine so let me know if you like this kind of video this vlogging video while I'm on holiday I'll put the recipe my recipe in the link below as well and let me know if you do try egg or um, smash with it and thanks for watching while I'm on location. The River Thames. Love you, leave you. Bye.